Hello, my name is Nathaniel Hoek. I'm a client advisor at Acquia, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Deploy so that you can deploy various kinds of content from a staging site to a live site. So before we get started, um, you can see that I'm here on drupal.org slash node slash 1406134. And on this page, there's some really handy documentation um, and some great instructions for how to set up Deploy um, and get this all working. And in this video, I'm actually just following these instructions. Um, so if you need to reference back to some written materials on, on how to do this, um, this is the place to do that. Um, another thing to note before we get started, I have two websites set up already. So I have Deploy Stage, this is where I'm going to be creating content. And I have Deploy Live, which is where I'm going to be pushing the created content to. Okay, so on to instructions and the actual work here. So first we're setting up the source server and um, there's a really handy drush command to download all of the modules that you need to get this running. You want to make sure that you run this exactly as is um, because substituting the modules may, uh, may end up uh, resulting in a failure where, where this actually wouldn't work. So I've actually already got everything downloaded so I'm just going to go ahead and enable. Okay, and that worked. So next up, um, I've already got this file um, set up on my server, uh, so you're just going to want to follow the instructions to, to do that as well. But just go to this link, download the file, and put it into place. Um, there's a couple of different ways you can set that up, and they're both documented here on this page. So once you have that set up, we're going to set up our endpoint on our stage server. So from here, we'll just go ahead and check out our endpoints. And I actually need to clear the cache. So that we can see that page. And we're going to add our first endpoint. And we want to choose session authentication and rest JSON and continue. Here we need the name of a user that has the permission to be able to create content uh, on the live site. And we need our endpoint URL. Okay, that's done. Now we need to create a plan. And we're going to add one here. Deploy live. We're going to go with managed aggregator. We want the QAPI, and this is our endpoint. Continue and finish. OK, now we're going to head over to the deploy live server. And here we also have some great instructions for how to get started. I already have all these downloaded, so again, I'm just going to jump right in to enabling. Okay, so now that's done. Um, again, I'll have to clear the cache. And now we can go to Admin Structure Services. And we're going to add a new one, lowercase, rest, path to endpoint services rest, and here we'll go with session auth, now we're going to edit our resources, we want to pull in files, nodes, taxonomy terms, we could grab other things as well. Um, but that's probably, we'll grab users, good enough. Services, and this time we're going to edit the server. And here we want to make sure that 
XWWW form URL encoded request parsing is enabled. And now we can go back and actually create our first piece of content. So we're going to create an article. And we'll add some tags. And we'll save it. And then we'll go to our content administration page. And from here, we want to deploy our content and update. Now we want to go to our deploy plan and deploy it. And then we need to run cron. Now if we go to our deploy live site and we can go back to content and here you see we have our piece of content along with tags and everything looks great. Okay so that's basically it. Um, it's a really nice system for being able to create content and sync content across sites. Enjoy!